Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series. So today I am going to work on this dynamically changing the direction of the wind, the grass wind, as you can see here, here in this demonstration. So with time, the direction of the wind changes, the grass bends to the other way, like this. And so this is, a, and after some time, it also again changes back to that side, like this. And also I have added a stylized texture to this grass blades so it looks better than just uh, how it looks with just one color. Okay, so that's what I'm going to cover today. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Right, so today instead of just this just one color that I had here, I have added a texture. So that kind of looks like a hand painted texture. So I have added it here. So I'll promote this one to a parameter. Let's call it brass texture and I have used it for both base color and the subsurface color and apply so and uh, also as I have included the alpha map inside this grass I can use the alpha of this one instead of this alpha map So I'll delete that and this is how my grass looks at the moment. Like this. And yeah. What else we can do here to improve? Let me clean up these things that I have added last time, but uh, in the final version, I didn't need them. So I will clean them up. And yeah, here maybe I should increase this a little bit. Right, so this is how my final grass, stylized grass looks like. So what's the next step? As you can see here, these grasses are shaking uh, to represent the wind and the direction. So we can change the speed of this uh, randomizations we can do it here here we have this speed variable at the moment i have set it to 0.1 for speed x and 0.1 for speed y so So let's promote this to two variables speed x speed y I'll set the default value of both to point one now I'll keep y as zero Let's see how it looks. Right. 
right so it looks like this okay so here we have the material instance by modifying these values let's try point 0.03 now you can see that shaking speed is reduced like this so using that variable you can control the turbulence of the grass so if I make it like one, one, you can see it is like this. No, it doesn't look really well, but you get the point. What to do with the, that, the with that variable? I'll keep it like this. Right, so what's the next step? So, yeah, right. So the next step is uh, creating a blueprint that can control the direction of the wind. So let me do that right now. Uh, so for that, let's go to our BP and I'll create a new blueprint but first uh, yes what's the best place to do that let's create a new folder environment controllers <coughs> and I'll put the climate controller also inside there right and here I'll create an actor blueprint let's call it PP wind controller or oh, should be simple right and as you can see here I'm using a vector parameter inside this uh, cell shaded grass uh, material so without that I am going to replace this with uh, I have already used this BP glow sorry not BP MP global so this is a material parameter collection if you don't know how to create one just right click and under material and textures create this material parameter collection so I have created this and used this for my dynamic raining and also dynamic weather control and yeah I worked on a wind before as well so we can do this so here I'll add another parameter actually I already have another parameter called wind direction it's a vector parameter so I'm going to use this instead of uh, this wind vector here so let's get the parameter collection where is that right collection parameter I'll delete this one and here I'll use uh, wind direction Oh, I get an error right let's do a component mask and get only R G and B right compile okay now here I'll in the tick yeah in the tick I uh, not a dispatcher sorry under variable 
I'll let's set parameter let's call this set vector parameter value and the collection I'll use MP global this one and the parameter name is wind direction and the parameter value is a linear color yes let's make linear color and for that I need RGBA value so actually this is just the direction so I'll create a new folder a new variable I have already created one let me call it current wind direction it should be a vector and I'll add the reroute node here okay then I'll split this one to XYZ component and plug it like this or can I directly set it ah yeah I can okay we don't need this then right so this is the event tick and also here I'll add another variable I'll call it target wind direction and I'll get this and set current wind direction with the lerp like this get the current wind direction lerp to this one with an alpha of maybe 0.5 and set it so this is the update wind direction part and in the begin play first I'll set uh, the default value of the wind direction is zero. Sorry, target wind direction is zero. So let's add a delay of two seconds, two seconds, and then set a target wind direction actually this contains the direction and the weight of the wind so let's set this one to 200 and then another ten second delay and set it to oh, first I'll set to minus 200 and then plus 200 and then add another delay of 10 seconds and loop this here so we can continuously see the direction of the wind is being changed yeah first I need to drag and drop this wind controller object into our world is everything all right i think that's all i have to do right let's see how it looks 
okay initially no wind and then wind to the right of the character in any second now it should change right now it changed the direction to the other side and again it should change back to the other side like this okay so yeah that's all I want to do do for today the dynamic wind direction